Hello and thanks for joining me again, this time for a review of the brand new Storm Nova. The Nova features the Ignition Core and R2X Hybrid on the cover. R2X is a formula that Storm has used before, probably most notably on the Marvel Pearl and a Pearl formula. The Nova will be the only ball to feature the hybrid formula stateside uh, that's in the current product line. Low RG, uh, medium high diff, rather high intermediate diff, so a fairly strong core. We're on a fresh house shot today. Uh, getting right into throwing the ball, uh, I did see this continue a lot more than some of the higher intermediate diff asymmetrical cores that I've drilled. If you've seen the storm media on this ball, the design intention was to maximize the asymmetry of the core to uh, create as much continuation and reduce any of that stopping or locking up that can be common with these bigger asymmetrical cores. And I think they achieved exactly that here because as you can see this ball, as I get deeper and as my angles get steeper, it continues to pick up and finish and gain traction and face up in the right spot. Usually with bigger cores like this in balls like the Reality or the Proton Physics that are sort of comparable in the current Storm family line, it's always a question of how deep can I get before the ball stops making the corner and I start leaving buckets and 10 pins or I try to overhit it and it digs really early in four pins. The Nova is quite different in that the deeper I got, the better it looked, which is highly unusual for a dull, uh, higher intermediate diff asymmetric ball. With hybrid formulas, it's always a question of whether it's going to lean more towards the pearl or the solid in the formula. This one is certainly solid heavy. It's very mid laney It's earlier than the reality for me, and it actually picks up in about the same spot as the proton physics, but it continues a whole lot more down lane. This is different than the hybrid formula of, say, the UFO Alert, which rolls more like a pearl. So not all hybrids are created equal, and this one seems to roll more like a solid and picks up in the mid lane really, really strong for me. And it really seems to combine the best of both worlds. The last hybrid I can remember being this impressed with was the RST X1, although it was significantly weaker because of how much weaker the core was. The Nova is much stronger everywhere from front to back. It, it hooks earlier, it hooks more off the spot. It forced me a little deeper a little earlier, but I can also get deeper with it and not lose any performance. For me, a dull asymmetric ball that I can actually get in and shape is not something I really have in my bag, so I do think the Nova is pretty unique and special in that way. At first, I had intended to throw this ball against the Proton Physics in the comparison video. Uh, I actually threw a couple shots that didn't make the video because of how different the Nova was from the Proton when it was said and done. My pinup Proton is very slow and lopy off of the spot, and it's also very early. And I couldn't even get into fourth arrow with the Proton and get it to get back. It was a bucket or a 10 pin. That was kind of the cliff for it. And I get, you know, 25, 26, 27 with the Nova. And it just, not only does it come back to the pocket, but it comes back to the pocket and either hits high flush or high. So I ended up going with the Reality because it was the closer shape and the cleaner cover that the Reality has actually helped it look a little bit more like the Nova down lane. But as you'll be able to quickly tell here, the Nova is much earlier and much more in the mid lane than the Reality is. My Reality's got some games on it, it is lane shined. But that cover is fairly clean and the Nova seems to actually pick up a bit sooner than the Reality. Another thing you'll notice in the comparison between the two bowling balls is the Reality is a very big core. And so whenever it hooks, it's sort of lopy and slower and smooth. And the Nova is a lot more continuous and round. You really see the transitions are kind of chopped up with the reality. You see the skid, you see the hook, and you see the roll, and it's kind of one, two, three. With the Nova, it's a much more smooth, buttery transition from skid to hook to roll that you don't see the steps as staggered and as chopped up like you do with the reality. The difference between these two balls becomes evident as I get deeper. The extra bounce that I get down the lane from the Nova really sets it apart from the reality, which is one of the most popular high performance solid balls out there. I think that says a lot about what Storm was able to do with the Nova, because if they're able to do something that sort of overshadows or outshines the reality from deeper, then I think they've really got something special. Reality is a favorite of mine. It reminds me a lot of the Phase 2, except it's a bit stronger, but it is a little more continuous than any other solid ace ball that I've drilled, and it's a good blend of control and pin carry. I feel like I can really control my break point, but I don't sacrifice anything by throwing the reality. The Nova feels like a lot more dynamic of a ball. It feels like it wants to do a lot more down the lane. This is going to make it something that I can throw on tougher conditions or conditions where the backs aren't quite as quick and still get the ball to pick up in the right spot and finish. The Nova is available January 14th, 2022. 
come see me at Millennium Bowling Supply or go to your local pro shop to pre-order yours now. Be sure to check out my review on the Spectre. It's up as well. Uh, as always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.